Everton are reportedly interested in Galatasaray and Colombia defender Davinson Sanchez and are apparently preparing a £16 million offer. Uh, Sanchez has been linked with a move to Everton in previous windows, did of course play in the Premier League for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, Everton under-21 defender Bradley Moonen has signed his first professional contract with the club. The 18-year-old centre-back has, t- has signed a two-year contract until the end of June 2026 after impression for Leighton Baines' under-18 side last season. Uh, Everton are reportedly set to face AS Roma in a friendly at Goodison Park on the 10th of August. The game would be kicking off at 3pm. Uh, this has come from Being Sports. Uh, Roma, of course, is the club owned by Everton's potential new owner, Dan Freak. And we'll have to wait and see. We know that Everton normally play an international friendly on that final game at Goodison Park before the season kicks off. Roma seems like a good fit. Uh, we're just waiting for confirmation of that. Nothing official about that at the moment, but there is out there doing the rounds, and it would be it'd be a good test for Everton. It'd be a good friendly to have before we kick off the Premier League campaign a week later against Brighton and Hove Albion. And sticking with Brighton and Hove Albion, they are apparently locked in a battle to sign Irish teen sensation Mason Melia. They are locked in a battle with Everton for this player. Uh, the 16-year-old plays for St. Patrick's in the League of Ireland Premier Division. He made his debut as a 15-year-old. He's played 39 times for St. Pat's, scoring seven goals and making three assists. Uh, he plays as a striker. He's also scored two goals and two assists for the Republic of Ireland team at the under 17 euros uh, last year he is very very highly rated Everton have already we've seen bringing players in Kieran Loney has come in of course he is really highly rated and Braden Graham so Everton trying to get talented young players get them in build that academy up and hopefully make them first team players now there is a little bit of a difference with um, this transfer for Mason Melia because the league, uh, the rules of the league would mean that he, he couldn't come over to the UK because of the Brexit rules. Couldn't come over and play for Everton until he was 18. He would remain at St. Pat's if he did sign a contract this summer. So we'll have to wait and see. That is uh, that is doing the rounds today. It's come from a good source as well that Everton and Brighton are leading the race for him. So, but I think it'd be good if Everton, Everton won a, you know, a race for this, another very highly rated young player. It would show you that there has been a little bit of a shift looking for those talented younger players, getting them in, trying to develop them. Brighton, of course, have got a tremendous uh, record of doing this. And I've done it from Ireland, with Evan Ferguson, of course, who is, uh, has been brilliant for um, for Brighton as a young lad, made of, has made his full debut for the um, Republic of Ireland as well. So very interesting, that one. Uh, that is it for the News Daily. There is a video out tonight with uh, Tom, who is an Everton and Roma fan, so check it out on what the Freakins might bring to Everton Football Club should their takeover be successful. Make sure you check that out. And check the Callum McManaman Inside the Game uh, podcast out if you haven't. If you have, go over there, just leave a little comment and give the, the video a like as that grows. But it's excellent. It is good. Callum is absolutely brilliant. Some really good stories in there as well. That is it for me. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and have a great weekend. See you later.